from the gospel according to mark chapter 9 verses 38 to 43 verse 45 verses 47 to 48 at that time john said to jesus teacher we saw someone driving out demons in your name and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us jesus replied do not prevent him there is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me for whoever is not against us is for us anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ amen i say to you will surely not lose his reward whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea if your hand causes you to sin cut it off it is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into gehenna into the unquenchable fire and if your foot causes you to sin cut it off it is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into gehenna and if your eye causes you to sin pluck it out better for you to enter into the kingdom of god with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into gehenna where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched The gospel of today's liturgy recounts a brief dialogue between Jesus and the apostle John who speaks on behalf of the entire group of disciples. They saw a man who was casting out demons in the name of the Lord, but they stopped him because he was not part of their group. At this point, Jesus invited them not to hinder those who do good because they contribute to the fulfillment of God's plan. In short, Jesus' words reveal a temptation and offer an exhortation. The temptation is to be closed off. The disciples would like to hinder a good deed simply because it is performed by someone who does not belong to their group. They think they have the exclusive right over Jesus and that they are the only ones authorized to work for the kingdom of God. But this way, they end up feeling that they are privileged and consider others as outsiders to the extent of becoming hostile towards them brothers and sisters every closure tends in fact to keep us at a distance from those who do not think like we do and this we know is the root of many great evils in history of absolutism that has often generated dictatorships and of great violence towards those who are different.